Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He uh -uh. only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a decent place. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Josh Emmett. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Alright, good thing you lose in the locker room. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to the corners, come out Anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, wow, massive uppercut. That would not feel good to him. To 
got to whip his hip into that kick. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Flush right hand is true. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Boy, tie block. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice straight punch. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So 31 total strikes have now landed for Josh Emmett. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Battle for position here. Seconds now to go in round one. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Back to the feet now. Nice kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Massive knee to the body land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. What a body kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice punch land over the top. Ten seconds to go in round one. I mean, look at the commitment to kick the kick in this fight. Good job, bro. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round is underway. Okay, Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a so very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, huge right hand! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. The strike, ooh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice right hand. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landing some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it to stop throwing. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. All collar tie, and they separate. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Outstanding takedown by him there, all set up by that combination of strikes on the feet. He doesn't throw one strike. He throws them in front of him. And then he starts thinking punching. He always changes levels to get to his takedown. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Great punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels. Wow! What a fantastic strike. So at the exact right moment, he deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Punch over the top. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. 
but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very keen on the match fighters coming together. Nobody has really. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job there to land the knee. Oh! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these tight And that's gonna do it! And that'll do it! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliot is going to stop in this contest at 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, 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 yeah. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.